Similar chemicals are used to control corrosion and to prevent bacteria growth. The most common chiller corrosion chemical is a closed-loop nitrite, borate, silicate product. The second chemical is a cooling water biocide. The most common biocide used to control bacteria is glutaraldehyde and isothiazolin. If freezing is a concern, you may consider using a propylene glycol solution such as Dafrost. Image result for chemical is used in chilled water. How do I feed my chiller chemicals? If you cannot manually dump the chemicals into a basin, chiller chemicals are either injected into the water system with a metering pump through an injector quill or it is slug feed with a chemical pot feeder. How often should I check the chemicals in my chiller? Depending how critical your system is, you may need to check it daily. On most very general water systems, once a week is good. Properly operating chiller systems are tight and should not lose much water. If you are losing chemical, you are losing water. So if you are always adding chemicals, you need to check for water loses. What tests need to be performed on a chiller system? Monitor the conductivity of the water and keep this for reference. Conductivity is in chemical usage is important when troubleshooting a system. Monitor the nitrite or based product used as a corrosion inhibitor and use dip slides to monitor bacteria development.